Hey everybody, Riley and Danny here for another episode of RAM. What and does that stand for? Random Access Memories. And today, for our Random Access Memory, we are going to um, we're going to review and kind of give our thoughts on the Halo 5 Guardians beta. So, but first, let me tell you guys something. Halo 5 Accordions. Halo 5 Accordions. These glasses are fake. I'm sorry, I lied to you. What else have you lied to me about? Pulling out. <laughs> All right. So, so okay. Not gay. <laughs> okay. So, first thing we're gonna go over is the graphics. The game runs very smoothly at uh, 60 frames per second. I don't know. If I, you... I think I think it runs at 60 frames. Of course, it runs at 60 frames. If Halo, the Master Chief Collection, runs at 60 frames, it runs at it runs at 60 frames per second. It yeah. Does. And the graphics, they're actually pretty good. I mean, there are glitches here and there, but I, you gotta say this is the best looking Halo yet. I mean, Halo 4 looked like it was an next gen exclusive, basically on the uh, 360. But it looked like it could have been an Xbox One game at its time, and this game definitely improved on Halo 4's graphics. The graphics are better, the story I know is going to be better, everything about it is just going to be bigger and better. Hopefully The Forge 2, and this is truly the future of Halo. Yeah, so we don't know if it runs at uh, 1080p, but we're just saying it definitely runs at 720p, maybe to 1080p. We're probably going with 1080p because it goes uh, really smoothly. Okay, but the next thing we're going to talk about is game modes. So we only get two game modes in this uh, beta, but I can. Well, so far, we started out with Team Slayer, and then now we so have. So far. So far. Now we have Breakout, which is this cool paintball thing, sort of. It kind of runs like that. It's, search, it's like Search and Destroy for Call of Duty. Yeah, in my personal opinion, I've played a lot of Call of Duty, and it's kind of like Search and Destroy. You get one life per round, and. Uh, there's a certain amount of rounds in the game you have to win the majority the majority of them or you have to win four of them you have to win five out of eight five out of eight and uh one match before the other team loses let's say excuse me it's like four to three it'll be like other team facing elimination and when you start off if you've ever watched like the trailer to the beta uh, people like go off this weird sonic like, spin dash thingy spin, spin, spin pad. pad spin pad or whatever. I don't know. and you actually do that at the beginning of the game which i think is really cool yeah, every round actually, not at the beginning of the game only. Now back to Team Slayer. As of now, um, as of the, of the recording of this video, it's gone from regular Team Slayer as of ARs and pistols with random uh, weapons scattered throughout the map and two special, one special weapon for each map to this. Now it's BR Slayer, which I like, but Wait, I mean, all the time. I'm pretty sure. Just well, for now, though. Yeah, I actually really like that. And what I'm going to talk about next is. Uh, like what game modes we're expecting I mean we have SWAT coming and that's actually gonna be really cool it's really hard to aim and get headshots in this game because there's very little there's very little aim assist um, so instead of just being like dragging towards the player head you're like oh no okay. yeah it's very touchy and to get an, a perfect kill that's a new metal it's to uh, kill somebody and with four shots of your BR to land all or four like shots of your head, with your right? DMR. yeah well I guess or three Three Just, shots. Right? Basically, the yeah. least amount of shots you need to kill a person. Like, basically, the least amount of shots you need for an AR or any other gun, I'm pretty sure. But as I'm pretty sure it works for BR, DMR, and pistol. And that's basically what I know it works for. Alright, so next we're going to talk about the mechanics of the game. Uh, I honestly think that this game runs really smoothly. You can dash, you can ground pound, I'm going to call it. <laughs> ground, that's what everybody calls it. There's, and, oh yeah, there's also shoulder dash, I think, shoulder pound or whatever. It's basically like uh, a dash <clears throat> mixed with a melee, and it's I'm pretty sure it's a one-hit kill. Basically what Titans can do when they sprint in melee um, in Destiny, but uh, we're going to talk about the other mechanics. And the ground pound like... is like the Fist of Havoc. Yeah. Oh, another thing that they probably stole from Destiny, oh, no, I'm just kidding, they probably actually had this before. Um, it's if you aim in the air... You float for a couple of seconds. It's the same as the Angel of Light and the Sunsinger class of the Warlock in Destiny, which is a pretty cool thing. But I think you stay in the air longer as a Warlock than you do as a Spartan. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to do that as a Spartan. You probably have to concentrate really freaking hard. But... Like, oh, okay. I pooped a little. Alright, so, uh, 
the other things we're talking about the animations are flawless in my opinion i mean there's glitches here and there but what do you expect it's a freaking beta in the beginning and in the end there's an animation where you like in the, where there's you start, a team animation yeah it shows your team with their armor and stuff like in destiny when they start off you know holding their guns or whatever but there's no flag obviously this isn't destiny and then in the end it shows your teammate going like to each other and, you know giving each other high fives and stuff like that or you know you know like that and then one guy in the front like being cool yeah being cool like this i mean it kind of makes the spartan seem less serious and more just kind of like whatever man you know it's just training you gotta make fun of your it's literally like probably what spartans would do like they, they're in training they kick the other team's butt they're gonna make fun of them because they're bros you know it's what i would do you know beat this guy in a you know, soccer match punch him in the face and laugh at him <laughs> all right but uh other mechanics um of course, you can sprint like you could in Halo 4. You just press the left stick down. And aiming is so much different. Uh, you can aim using the left trigger. And with an AR. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> so yeah, basically with the AR, holographic scope, that just pops up. And with the pistol, holographic scope. Actually, no. I think with the AR, it actually uses your visor as a scope. And with the DMR and the BR, just, you know, regular scope. Sniper now is only not very, no longer variable zoom. Basically, every single gun has an aiming ability, but you don't need to use it because when you shoot it's, your gun, it's really just like old Halo. Sorry for cutting you off, but like yeah. that's just what he means by you don't really need it. It's like you can just hit fire and kill somebody just as easily as it is to aim. I mean, your aim reticle doesn't go spirally everywhere, and it's not like this. Like you know, when you have a sniper rifle in Call of Duty, your freaking crosshairs are like this far apart, and there's no aiming at all, no scoping. But in Halo, it's just a little tiny circle. Just kind of like those uh, Spartan visors are supposed to have. But, uh, I honestly think that this is a good advancement. I mean, it's kind of put a lot of people off throughout the years that I know personally that they can't aim in like they can in Call of Duty. Uh, but, I actually really like it. It's a faster paced game, it's got more features, it's more, you know, it goes to more than just Halo players. This um, leans towards uh, other first person shooter players as well. And it's just, you know, a new fast-paced Halo in a modern world. It's starting to fit in. It's starting to finally crawl its way into society where it needs to be. Oh, yeah, and about the animations, you can now uh, vault over stuff when you're dashing through the air. Parkour! Uh, you could dash through the air. <laughs> you can't really, you can, like, uh, wall run, but you if you're, like, on a ledge and you can't, like, reach it, then you jump up, press the A button again, and then you just climb over you it. vault. And uh, now I'm going to give it... Uh, now we're going to talk about what we hope, our expectation slash wish list, and I really, I haven't been reading up on this, but I really hope that they bring Firefight back. I loved Firefight, and it was just so much fun, even though it was kind of laggy back in the last games, but hell, it's 2015 now, they should have, uh, wow, that's weird in saying it's 2015, but, <laughs> bruh, bruh, by the way, uh, it's 2015, uh, they should have better Firefight servers, no? Mm -hmm. I mean, hey. there's probably still going to be Spartan Ops, which um, it's probably going to be cool still, but... It's not um, as good as Firefight. In my opinion, it just isn't. I mean, it has a story, but I mean, Firefight. I know, I think Firefight's a good, uh, it's good like thing waves. that they took out. You know what makes no sense? People you know, that play Destiny are complaining that there's like waves of enemies now instead of like you know really intricate placed enemies. And I'm like, but dude, back in Halo, all you did was play Firefight. It's the same damn thing, except actually better. But that, we're not talking developers. about that game. Not talking about that game. Moving on. All right. So, um, first of all, we're—I mean, second of all—we're gonna have a super kick-ass story with uh, Agent Locke in the Arbiter, the Arbiter, Arbity, 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 Arbity. <laughs> the UNSC, Arbity. entirely going after the rogue John One One Seven Spartan. Do you think he's rogue? I honestly think that if you. Uh, Paid attention to Spartans op, Spartan Ops, Spartans Ops, Spartans Ops. He's a uh, Spartan Ops. Probably gonna side with Halsey because Halsey's kind of not with the UNSC anymore. But and she's, she's smarter than them. She takes risks and stuff, and she knows what she's doing. And you know, if it wasn't for her, the Spartan Twos wouldn't exist, and they wouldn't be alive today. Humanity would have been wiped out by the Flood or the Covenant. Whatever came first. Year. Year. Flood's been around lo longer, I think. I know the flood's been around longer, but I mean, whatever attacks first. All right, so we need uh, to talk about the new guns and stuff, and how there's going to be new guns. First of all, we get special weapons on each map, which is kind of cool. 
Now let me explain those. Um, there's this one map, I forgot its name, but there's a sniper rifle. There's two actually, since it's not a very powerful weapon. And then there's um, the sword called Truth, which is the Arbiter Sword on uh, this map, like Zealot, I forgot what his name was too. And then there's this map that's um, basically like the last one I just said, the one that looks like Zealot, except it's like a crashed ship on like this you know, jungly area, and in the middle of the map, under, like down low, is like this rocket launcher. And for the fourth special weapon, what is it again? Ah, oh, I forgot. Whatever. Listen, I don't think there is one. I think I'm talking about the breakout maps, but those ones don't really have thingy. Yeah, and you were talking about the new weapon, Hydra, right? The Hydra? Yeah, that's like a weird grenade launcher, a rocket grenade launcher. It's not very powerful, not as powerful as a regular rocket launcher, but you can lock onto people, and you can zoom in with it just a little bit. And, uh, you know, you just you know, get a couple hits on somebody. One direct hit, I'm pretty sure, is a single kill. Which is cool, and I am actually kind of wondering, since uh, they have uh, those new weapons, if they're going to have, like, a new... B <laughs> a new BR and whatnot, and... Sorry, guys, um... So, uh... Our old camera died, the one that's good and awesome. So and now we're using this shitty old HD waterproof one, camcorder. It's not shitty. You can get up to 1080p. It's yours. Well, okay. Can't argue with that. So BRs, moving on. New BRs. New BRs, uh, new, maybe a new type of assault rifle. The SMG looks badass. Badass. It looks like the uh, Survivor SMG from Halo 2 Anniversary. Yeah. Or the Which Silence SMG It's got from, like, uh, like a little red dot. Scope. Looking scope. Yeah. We have an audience today. Alright, so, um, what else are we looking forward to? We're looking forward to more original playlists. So, uh, I mean, the break, the breakout, right? It's breakout? Yeah, breakout. It's like Fish and Destroy wrong. Paintball. Yep. So uh, we're looking new. for more awesome ones like that. I mean, Call of Duty had one, a new one called Uplink, and that would kind of be cool to have one like Uplink, uh, just kind of, it, that reminds me of, like, basketball a little bit. But we already have Griff Ball. What Dude, we... imagine Griff Ball in this new game. They should actually have, like, actual, <laughs> like... You know, it should be more professional looking. But besides that, I'm looking forward to BTB and the actual new, like... You know the map, like, Spire and Halo Reach, right? I don't know why, but that just brings back good memories. Because I like the way it was set up. It was very unique. Even though it was ripped just from the campaign, I like maps like that. Because they're not symmetrical, and you actually have to... Like strategically go things. It's not you know just like the same fucking side of the map. And they're big, so BTB. I want it to be big. I want invasion bag. I want it. I want it. Even though there's not elites yet, there might be. Maybe I don't know, but I want it. Dude, an invasion's gonna be cool if they bring it back. Excuse the voice crack. But <laughs> excuse. Me. All right. So uh, the next thing we're looking forward to is actual good-looking armor. God damn it. Halo oh, yeah, Four kind of lacked in that. I want infection. Oh yeah, infection's definitely gonna be in it. They can't just Flood's gay. Dude, imagine like if the flood returned. They probably are. Anyways, moving on. Uh actual good army. Uh, actual good army. Actual good armor. Uh we're saying this because Halo I know Halo 4's armor was ass. It looked like ass. It tasted like ass, because I've tasted it. Taste and it goes clay. You also have a scratch disc. Yeah, well I scratched my disc on my birthday. I cried a little bit. And then everything looked like clay. Clay, I tell you. Clay. Like, clay Aiken. Okay. Like cottage cheese ass. Yep. Swamp ass. But yeah, Halo Reach's armor was pretty nice. I like the roughed up, you know, battle marine look instead of this, not marine like as in like water life. I mean, you know. Like army. disposable type of Spartan. Sort look. of like Destiny's armor, except better because Destiny's kind of uh, hard to get good looking armor that also helps you out. Yep. But anyways, um, yeah, I like that. And Halo 4's armor just kind of looks too i don't know too, it's just hard to explain it doesn't look there's very... not a lot of good looking ones in the halo 4 but there's always the oceanic oceanic i and the, hate that and one. The, and the war master or something oh, yeah, i hate that one actually i liked uh, aviator was it it was pretty good that it looked pretty like cool. uh kind of like a new one like a paintball mask oh and venator was pretty cool but moving on we need bigger and uh better maps <laughs> I burped. <laughs> What's this smell like? Ass. Ha! I like ate a that. farted ass. 
I farted like somebody, and then... somebody's ass farted out another ass, and that ass like was like, was like <laughs> Riley. It was like this. It's like, <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, we need bigger, better maps because it is kind of a linear game now. You can. You can jump higher and dash and stuff and parkour better. So we need bigger maps this way and this way. It's a actually no, I think it's good with the smaller maps because um due to its like new rush type of nature of the game, it kind of makes it really badass. But on like really fast. big maps, I feel like there should be some maps that have like kind of like an open mid area, and then like on the sides of the maps, there's like higher areas. So and that way a lot of buildings in those ones too. Yeah, like a lot of buildings. Maybe not a completely open mid area, because that's just asking to get your ass sniped. No man's land. land. Alright, and then the best the best thing that we're looking forward to, well Dan in particular, is um an ambitious forge. That's because I love forge, I love building shit. Halo 4 disappointed me. Halo 2 amused me, but missed the good maps in that. And I want some really good custom games for training, for fucking around, and I'm fucking around in the pussy around in the pussy. Fake. Put it, pull out. I'm a pump and dump. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, so we need bigger, better maps to forge on. I mean, I was so excited for Forge Island, and I knew that you were too, and for some reason, talking like this. <laughs> forge Island wasn't that good, but I want Forge World back. Yeah, we need Forge World or something like it. Uh, Impact was actually pretty good for forging, in my opinion. I just don't like the whole space aspect. I mean, I, I liked it, but it's too small and, I don't know, not very, like, creative. We need new scenery. Better. Alright, well, I think that really wraps up everything on Halo 5 Accordion's multiplayer beta. So, we're gonna give it our ratings. It's actually Call of Halo Advanced Guardians. Beta. Field 4. Will you stop it? <laughs> <coughs> Pat. Alright, so. What's your rating? Um, I give it, um, like, I can't really rate the beta. No, what, what do you rate the beta? Okay, what I rate the beta so far? So far. As of this day. January 2nd. 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10. And give your reasoning why? Because it's a beta for one. And there's not enough maps. There's not enough playlists. It's a beta. And the connection. Rate it, rate it as a beta. I am rating it as a beta. I'm rating it as a beta because it's hard to connect with your friends sometimes. Sometimes it just really fucks up. Other times it's really good. Other times it's really bad. But, I mean... I'm gonna bump it up to an 8.75. Um, I'm actually gonna give it a nine or so, be just because it's getting me excited for what we're looking for in Halo. I mean, Halo, in my opinion, has kind of been uh, it's been kind of slow. I no mean, way, Halo, I a nine too because um, the CSR rating system. Don't forget about that. It actually oh, shows yeah, that. Oh yeah, forgot now. about the ranking system. They basically system. brought the Halo Three rating system, sort of, and then and co no, they brought back the Halo Reach Arena rating system and put it like on every playlist. And each individual playlist, you get your own skill rating. And then you also have your original Spartan rank that helps you unlock armor and shit. Yeah. But, um... But, bruh. But, bruh. Uh, I'm going to give it... No, I'm going to go back down to 8.75. Because it's just that whole... Um, what is it? The connection's not always great. Um, there's lag and stuff. Um, not a lot of maps. Not a lot of playlists. And the the appearance thing is just ter terrible. It just looks bad, like when you go to check your Spartan out, and it just you know it doesn't really work. It's laggy. Textures are fucking up. You can only change your body armor and your helmet and your visor. It's very lacking in the um, customization department. And service tag doesn't always work when you change it. Mine always reverts back to normal, or just doesn't work in general. So that's also a gay factor. So eight point seven five. <laughs> Anyways, I'm still gonna rank it at a nine because look at his pussy. So you have to make this quick. Yeah, I think we're going to rate it at an average of um, 8.85. <clears throat> yep. No, 8.875. Yes. Yeah. Just because it's getting me excited for what's to come in the new Halo game, and I'm kind of curious on how the ending game is going to look in particular. Uh, particular. Uh, Halo 6 is going to be the bomb. Halo 5 is already my bomb. Bombino bomb. Which means boy. Bambino means boy in, in, in Italian. <laughs> Our outline. <laughs> no, but we should finally end this off.
So, uh, thank you all for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and please share this with your friends, guys. We love it if you do that. It helps us get us out there. Like for more videos like this. Subscribe for more videos like this. Liking this video helps it get out there, and if you comment and criticize us, we can do better and request videos. We like that. And support us! Support Be there us. through everything, The more please. you support us, the more an awesome, more awesome, uh, you know, videos of videos. Videos! We'll make. Fucker. So the right. more people we get, the more motivation we'll have, and then we'll love you, because we already do love you. We just need the more of you to love, that's all. Yeah. Seriously, I love you. i show you my nipple. I'm not showing you my nipple. Good. I'll show you my armpit here. Bye. Do you mind? <laughs> Click here for tutorials on Minecraft. Click here for random gaming playlist stuff. And click down below, if, if there is anything down below, to go to our channel and watch more videos like this one and subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye. I love you.